just spent four nights around Litchfield National Park and Berry Springs and just 90 kilometers away from the turn off from Litchfield is this Dundee Beach absolutely gorgeous this is going to be home for the next four nights unfortunately no um, swimming yeah unfortunately no swimming there's supposed to be a few crocs around here you suppose you could paddle and if there's not crocs there'll be something else that can get you <laughs> just can't believe how beautiful this place is It's only an hour from Darwin. I think we'll be down here tonight, bring the car, picnic, a couple of sundowners, watching the sunset over the water. heading into a place called Stingray Heads at Dundee Beach. We came and did a recce yesterday and it seems an easy enough track to get in. Watch this space, might get stuck. <laughs> Just taking a walk here on Dundee Beach, Stingray Heads. Notice this track goes into the creek. And the opposite bank, don't you can see it there? It's a crocodile. Yeah, first one I've seen in the wild for a long time. So, just goes to prove you don't go on swimming in the sea round here. Just gone for a walk on the beach at Stingray Heads. Uh, tide's on its way out. And it's miles out. We had a big six metre tide last night. What should I say this morning? All oh, the water's gone. Time to do a bit of croc spotting. But not as yet. I haven't found any. Some old croc slide when we first got here. Just approaching croc territory here. Nice dirty old creek with mangroves at back.
as it won't go any closer. Super soft sand. You didn't bring your car down. And I reckon they'll be there somewhere. I reckon they'll be in my gravels. Yeah, I do as well. Just spent the last three nights in Stingray Heads, Dundee Beach. Not a lot to do around here. Done some uh, decent walks along the beach. Um, tides are very high. Yeah, I think tonight it's going to be something like 6.4 meters, so it really goes out and then comes back in again pretty quick. Got to be careful around here because there is crocs about. They have been seen swimming in the sea around here, so definitely got to be careful. Absolutely no swimming in the sea. With a few creeks up and down, that's obviously where they're getting the food source from. Uh, yeah, definitely no swimming in the sea around here. And it is a bit murky, so you won't even see them coming. Anyway, we're going onwards tomorrow, towards Darwin. We've got a week booked in uh, the big four at Alice Springs. Probably the only one we could get, probably four weeks ago when we booked it. The only one we could get, so... A lot of people on the road at the moment. Um, hopefully it's going to quiet down come September-ish, when we're going across WA. Just have to wait and see. Watch this space. July 1st, Darwin. We're on day four of a five day lockdown. Pretty boring really, not much to do when you're on lockdown. We just managed to stay around the caravan park. We hadn't had to go out for anything except for today. Went out for some pills and a bit of shopping. Did a bank thing there and back in half an hour. Uh, back on the caravan park, we've been doing cleaning, cleaning the car, cleaning the van. Uh, I've managed to get all the wheels re-greased on the bearings and the brakes adjusted. Uh, the car is clean, but the caravan is really clean. So hopefully the lockdown will end tomorrow and then we can carry on and do not things as normal but we have booked in here until Monday morning so if the lockdown does end tomorrow we've got a good chance to see Darwin um, yeah, watch this space just had a bit of a drive up Gunpoint Road to try and find a camp spot and uh, this is typical of anywhere up here you always find a burnt out car up to a place called Gunpoint. Uh, I wouldn't say it was difficult to get in with a car. It might be a bit of a challenge with a caravan in places, but if you look around, there's loads of people here. So 
some of these have been here for probably months. Just heading for the World War II oil tunnels. Never been in before, it's supposed to be really good this. It's obviously where they stored all the oil during World War II. There's a few uh, things we'd like to do in Darwin, but we're not going to get a chance to do it. We've been locked down for five days. So let's see what we can do in the limited time that we've got. My excuses, we always come back again. Take your time, look around, look down. Pretty cool inside these. Just on the end of Stalks Hill Wharf. This is the entrance to Darwin Harbour. This is one of the places that the Japanese bombed in 1942. 